A very warm welcome to all Consumers International members and other viewers joining today from around the world. This week, we celebrate the Consumers International 60th anniversary, 60 years of impact. 60 years ago, a pioneering group of consumer advocacies, advocacy groups uh, started off our organization with the vision that uh, the consumer rights need to be at the forefront if we are to create a fair, safe, and sustainable marketplace for everyone. Today in 2020, we now uh, are proud to represent 200 consumer advocacy groups in 100 countries working on so many issues of importance to consumers. We have been able to have impact only through the support of our members, their collaboration, and of course, important work connecting and collaborating with partners, uh, with global partners, and I am very proud and honored to be able to introduce uh, one of those here today. The United Nations Conference on Trade and Development is, of course, uh, one of the most important partners for Consumers International, as it provides our connection into consumer policy and competition uh, at the United Nations. So a, a core relationship for us. And I am delighted to be able to introduce uh, Dr. Mukisa Kitui today, who is Secretary General of UNCTAD, and introduce him to be able to make some remarks about uh, our past and also our future and how we can strengthen and develop our important relationship together. Thank you, Dr. Kitui. Uh, the floor is yours. Well, um, thank you very much, Helena, for this generous invitation. May I on the outset, on behalf of uh, the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, and indeed being the dedicated agents of the United Nations designated as the agents for consumer protection and competition, we join you in celebrating the week when you mark 60 years of existence. I mean, very well be known to us, your existence and your work of the last 60 years was one of the main drivers for the UA to designate my organization to interface between consumers and policy making within the UN family. As you mark your 60th anniversary, the unique circumstances of this year have made it that the welfare of citizens is top on the priority of policymakers around the world, both in the developing and developed countries, and like it has been at any one time. Faced with an unprecedented pandemic, we are hard pressed to make markets work for every consumer. This is clear, both in response to the pandemic and efforts at recovery. Consumer protection has played a key role in the immediate response to the pandemic. Fighting price gouging in basic household products and personal protective gear and medical goods, fighting scams and false claims, especially in medical products to treat COVID-19 and safeguarding consumers' right to refund for canceled travel arrangements, holiday packages and leisure events many consumer protection agencies also shifted their consumer information and dispute resolution initiatives online to cater for locked down consumers. Financial stimulus measures are expected to lessen competition in the post COVID-19 period with difficult consequences for consumers. The likely scenario is that many undercapitalized companies from fiscally stressed countries will face competition from stronger foreign rivals strengthened by massive financial support. This will impact on market competition globally, moving markets in the opposite direction from the level playing field that we have been fighting for. SMEs are in a dire situation. Absent policy interventions, we expect a non-COVID bankruptcy rate of 9.4% to rise to 18.2% for SMEs under the COVID-19 pandemic. The most affected sectors include accommodation and food services, arts, entertainment, recreation, and education. SMEs or startups in financial difficulty may become attractive targets for acquisition by dominant 
firms, especially by multinational companies. There, this will lead to an event rise in market concentration. Now, one can also expect weaker import competition in the post-COVID period. If countries' recovery plans adopt trade restrictive measures to make imports more expensive in favor of domestic production. The COVID pandemic has also accelerated the shift towards a digital world. At Anctad, we have a, had a survey of about 3,700 consumers in nine emerging and developed economies, which shows that online purchases have increased by six to 10 percent points across most product categories. We expect that these changes in online activities are likely to outlast the COVID pandemic. Dominant online platforms have benefited significantly from this pandemic. While well, stock prices and market capitalization of top big technology companies have been on the rise since March 2020, when lockdown measures were adopted. And this has created more incentives for these companies to invest in startups, thereby strengthening their market power. According to Financial Times, Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft have made 19 acquisitions so far this year. This represents the fastest pace of acquisition and strategic investment since 2015. Now we need to make sure that our legislative frameworks are fit to address increasing market power of digital uh, dominant platform companies and to better protect consumers from unfair and misleading practices of these platform giants. Governments should consider regulation of these platforms in a way to maintain competitive and open digital markets and better protect consumers. Some economies, for example, the European Union and Germany are making efforts in this direction and others should follow suit. Consumers must enjoy a level of protection online that is no less than offline. This may mean enacting of review national policies and upgrading enforcement capacities. Another emerging priority is to ensure access by consumers to access fair, effective, transparent, and impartial dispute resolution mechanisms, particularly online. Businesses should protect consumers' privacy through a combination of appropriate control, security, transparency, and consent mechanisms relating to the collection and use of their personal data. The United Nations guidelines for consumer protection remain a relevant tool for governments aiming to improve consumer protection in the medium and long term. These guidelines are a set of principles setting out the main elements of effective consumer protection legislation, enforcement institutions, and redress systems. Their latest revision which happened in 2015, has equipped them with the digital era requirements. The COVID pandemic has only confirmed the ongoing importance of international cooperation in the fields of competition and consumer protection, to share experiences, to exchange information on similar competition and consumer protection cases, to improve laws and policies, or generate consensus and take common positions. Anctad is the focal point within the UN system on these two issues and offers the only platform for global international cooperation with agencies like Consumers International in dealing with these issues. Consumer associations are key participants in this important ongoing dialogue, playing as an essential role in the institutional frameworks for effective consumer protection. They represent the voice of the consumer and their overall participation in the policy making process that in turn will help inform government policies. Consumer associations play a vital role in educating, advising, representing, and counseling consumers so as to enforce their rights. They help reduce the imbalance between business and consumers by empowering consumers and giving them the confidence to make informed decisions. Consumer associations are therefore more needed now that markets must be rebuilt to be fairer and more inclusive. Now, the development of independent consumer groups is also a, a, an important cornerstone of global consumer protection. 
The United Nations benefits from the relentless contribution of the consumer advocacy movement to keep government action close to consumer needs. Angst, uh, my organization, strives to facilitate dialogue among policymakers and consumer groups and forge new alliances among all stakeholders in consumer protection. We at UNCTAD remain committed to working closely with consumer associations, including and especially with Consumers International. We want to congratulate you for this 60th anniversary and very much look forward to a promising future where we can together face the new challenges in the world after the pandemic. Thank you.